What's up, my name's Cody, welcome back to the channel. Now, Spotify has this really cool series where they interview different artists and get their input on the best advice they ever got. So today, I'm gonna be jumping in and listening to the best advice Lizzo ever received. I'm really excited to hear what she has to say. She's blown up over the past couple years, so let's jump right into it. Hello, blokes and badgets. It's Lizzo, and this is the best advice I ever had. <laughs> She's really fun. This is going to be a great video. Missy Elliott continues to drop jewels on me, but the first piece of advice she ever gave me was to take my time with my album. And to take my time as an artist, I needed to hear that advice in that moment because when I was making Cuz I Love You, I made three albums. And I didn't know which vibe I wanted. I didn't know what the story was. I'm always living somewhere between namaste and namaste crazy. <laughs> She's hilarious, I love this. I think that's so true though. I think one of the problems when it comes to making music, especially for artists who don't necessarily have the biggest budget or a ton of money or time to put into it, is that they will book a week in studio or two weeks in studio, or maybe for Lizzo's case, a month in studio. And often, that's the it. That's the deadline. They have one month or a week or however long to finish a whole record and get all these songs done. And I think that artists often will rush the creative process and rush their writing. I mean, let's say you had some time booked three months from now in advance in a studio. You have to make sure you have all the songs written for that record ready to go in to studio to record this stuff. And then you only have so much time to record it. So I think that's really good advice that she actually got from Missy Elliott, which is really cool. Take your time with your art, take your time with the creative process and don't settle for anything less then your best. I get that the vibe's really hard to come up with, and I know for myself, the vibe changes over time. So I've written the same song in three different ways and still don't know which way I want it to sound or how I want the song to go, but that's totally okay. The song doesn't ever have to be finished. It doesn't ever have to be released. I can write new music and come up with different songs. So I think that's a really cool idea. Just focus on putting out the best product possible instead of rushing it and getting it out. No, I'm always somewhere in between frantic and completely confident. And I was a little frantic because I was in front of Missy Elliott and I was trying to describe my sound to her and I was trying to tell her what I wanted. And she was like, well, do you got a release date? She was asking like normal questions that one would ask if they just heard 10 of your tracks. And then I was like, oh, well, uh, 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 and I didn't really know what to tell her. She was like, whoa, take your time, you know? and. Yeah, I'm glad she said that because none of those songs I played her ended up on my album. <laughs> none of them, so. That's exactly what I'm saying. You can write 30 songs for a 10 track album and scrap 20 of them. It's better to write more and then refine the best songs down so that you come up with your best work possible. Now I'm not saying throw those songs away and forget about them forever, but maybe they're just not right for this release. So I think that's really cool that she had written 10 songs and none of them made the album. They weren't good enough for her. They didn't fit the right mood. So just really take your time and focus on the creative process and writing the absolute best songs possible. And don't feel like you ever have to give in to settle for something that's not your best. None of them. So if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be here. So be patient and it will come to you from Missy Elliott. Wow, I really like Lizzo. That's the first time I've ever heard her speak or seen an interview with her. And she just got a really cool personality. She's fun, lighthearted, kind of chill, but you can tell she's also really motivated and works really hard. I don't know, I just get really cool vibes from her and it sounds like she really loves what she does. I mean, who wouldn't creating music every single day? It sounds like the greatest thing in the world, right? Well, anyways, that has been the best advice Lizzo ever got from Missy Elliott. Um, let me know what you think. Drop a comment down below. I reply to pretty much every single comment, so I'd love to start a conversation with you and hear your thoughts on what Lizzo had to say. And if you did like this video, be sure to drop a like down below, make that little thumbs up button turn blue. It really helps out me and my channel and gets this video seen by many more people. And if you want to stay up to date with more music related content like this, don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one.